Coach Reisman, as it's time now for our Tech Star Kubota New Holland uh, post-game interview with Coach Lon Reisman. And, Coach, uh, this is one of those games where, as a uh, broadcaster, you know, I look up on the board and I see 106-54, to 54, but coaches have a different view of how things go on the court. What was your opinion of this game tonight? Well, I thought the first half we didn't shoot the ball very well at all. So I, that was one thing that I didn't feel real good about. Second half, I looked down there, we shoot almost 60%, so that's better. You know, I looked down there, we have six turnovers on the night. That's in a game of this this up and down. You're glad to see six turnovers. Uh, I didn't think, you know, I didn't think defensively we played as well as I'd like to play, but then I look up there and they get 54 points. So, yeah. you know, I, you know, it, it, it's just one of those games where kids hit some great shots and, you know, they're they're up to play us and uh, and they should be. And I, I didn't think that we were as focused as we needed to be tonight, but, you know, we still, we did what we had to do against a team of this, like like Southwest Avenue. And, and, don't, and don't take that the wrong way. They come out and they play hard. Their sure. kids are well coached and, and uh, they give it 100%. They just don't have the talent level that we have. And, you know, we scheduled this game because we want a game before we go into Vegas to play two great teams in Vegas. We just came off a long, long road trip and we just got finished exams today. So uh, we looked like a team that was at times looked like we were just a little bit discombobulated. But, uh, you know, I just want them to continue to improve. I thought second half we played better than the first half. Yeah, for sure. Let me ask you this. Uh, you mentioned a couple of their guys got very sh hot shooting. Yeah. We had, a, we had a couple of guys get hot ourselves. But, man, it seemed like Harden in the game, uh, number two, he really got going, and there wasn't much you could do no matter what you did, hitting shots from that far well, out. As a coach, what do you tell your guys defensively when something well, like that he's happens? he's a bad matchup for us. We got Anthony six foot eight, six foot seven on him, and he's a guard. And yeah. you play four guards, and then you're trying to guard him with a guy that's six seven, two 220 pounds, and he's a guard that can go by, and you can't get out there and pressure him, or he goes by. And so it's a really bad mismatch for us when we play a team that's really, really small like that when they have a, a four that's five foot 11. Sure. And so I think that has a lot to do with, you know, we're trying to contain him. And like Coach Chris said, when he hits his first shot, he really becomes a very – a uh, lethal weapon. He can really shoot the ball. And tonight he hit his first two, and all of a sudden his confidence level's up there, and he's ready to go. And so, uh, you know, it's just a very bad mismatch at times for us. And you know, we got to be a better defensive team. Even though I look at our 54 points, there's things that we can improve on defensively. We still have to learn how to contain the ball better. You know, we cannot depend on Roe to get 17 rebounds by himself. We need other people yeah. rebounding. And besides Roe, I think, you know, at times we are really, really susceptible to being a very poor rebounding basketball team. And we got to get better rebounding wise. We need other people to go to the backboards with the same tenacious uh, <coughs> effort that he does. And so, you know, we just have a, we have more work to do. I thought also, uh, <laughs> I thought also you guys did a good job on the offensive end. You know, you look at some of these numbers and some guys put up big point nights. But one of the things that I, I think you got to be happy with is the assists as well. You mentioned the low number of turnovers. On the other side of that, you also had 27 assists on the night. That's a big number. Yeah, it's been a while. You know, 27 assists is a lot of big number, especially when you only have six turnovers. And so, you know, that means we're sharing the ball. And, you know, some of the wide-open shots we have, we could have had – there was no telling how many assists we could have had because I thought we missed a lot of wide-open shots, especially yeah. in the first half. And, and so, you know, those, those are good things. The thing that concerns me the most is, is, is the rebounding outside of Ramond. That, 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 that really concerns me right now. Um, we got to do a better job defensively. We're missing too many layups going down the floor. Josh misses a wide open dunk. He misses a wide open layup tonight. Those things can happen in, in, in a ball game that you're trying, you know, when you're, in, when you're in a tight conference game. Those things either have to get better or they concern me or we have to have the right people on the floor that we know that can make layups. And so, you know, there's a lot of improvement we have to make here in the next two or three weeks. Uh, looking forward to this weekend. Your next game will be uh, in Las Vegas. And uh, I don't want to look at the game so much as the trip itself. You've done this a couple of times now. What do you expect uh, from the Holiday Hoops Classic at South Point Arena? Well, we always go in there. It's our fourth trip. And I think the big thing that we go there for is because we get two Division II games, on which we need. And we get them against high caliber competition. And everybody that will be there will be high caliber competition. You got West Texas there, you got Angelo State there, you got Tarleton there, you got Western Washington there, you got Simon Fraser. You got you got some great basketball teams that'll be playing in that Holiday Hoops Classic, and and uh, people try to get in it because it's just it's it's, it's such a it's a great time to play, it's such a great competition. Well, Coach, thank you very much for your time, and uh, once again.